Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to figure out what percent of something is shaded. Okay, so in this example we've got five little pieces, three of them are shaded, and our job is to figure out what percent is shaded. Tons of different ways to get this answer. I'm going to show maybe three different ways for how to figure out what percent of this figure is shaded. And uh, first let's begin with something, I don't know, kind of like logic. So if the whole thing was shaded, that would be 100%. But the whole thing isn't shaded, only a piece of it is shaded. So there's five pieces total, so 100 divided by 5 equals 20. So that tells us each one of these pieces stands for 20%. And since three of the five are shaded, that's three times 20, which equals 60%. So one technique says that each piece is worth 20%, so that's 60%. Another technique is to say, well, we've learned earlier that we could write that as 3 fifths, and we've learned that a fraction can be converted into a percent by dividing. So you would do 5 into 3. 5 goes into 3 zero times, so you have to add a decimal and a zero. 5 goes into 36 times, you get zero, so that's equal to 0 0.6. And we know from early, earlier videos that 0 0.6 is equal to 60%. And in case you kind of forgot why, you just take the decimal and you move it over two places, which means you have to add a zero, and that makes it 60%. So that's a second method for showing that it's 60% shaded. And the third, and kind of the more traditional way, is to think about a proportion. And I'm going to do that in a table. And I'm going to say, OK, well, um, like plain old numbers, and I'm going to put over here percents. So if you have 5, that would equal 100%. And then we don't want 5 as being shaded. We want 3 as being shaded. And we, we need to figure out, well, if 5 is 100%, then what is 3? Well, you could say 5 times 20 is 100. 3 times 20 is equal to 60. And you are officially done. So the answer is 60%. There's a bazillion different ways to solve it. Another, you know, I'm going to do a fourth one really quick. A lot of people do percent, percent over 100 is equal to the, like, the part over the whole. Percent over 100 is equal to the part over the whole. So here in this problem, we don't know what the percent is because it says what percent. So we're going to call that the x. 3 is the part. 5 is the whole, and now we have the classic looking proportion, and it's pretty easy. A lot of people do it this way. I wouldn't, because I see an immediate relationship between the 5 and the 100, but if you want to do it the traditional way, you get 5 times x is equal to 300, so x is equal to 60%. So there's your four different ways to show that 3 out of 5 is 60%.